Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Radius Mod Shizia campaign. We'll pick things up for episode 15 from turn 53 in the winter season of 200. So, as we hop back in, we are at war with the remaining Naman factions. We can try to capture Shamoko right here. We can turn this ambush around and take some more food for us. Let's just do this quick and easy one first. And we're just kind of steamrolling them. Uh, it's not going to be that difficult. That's actually a lot of casualties. Uh, oh well. We'll have plenty of time to heal back up. And we're level 8. I don't need any of these, but... Can't say no to more cunning and character experience for the whole army. They're also headed for Bossy here. I don't expect resistance, but you never know. And they can pick up another farmland for us. They will sweep across the coast. Um, before we jump into that, before I forget, let's buy another chest. Jazz, you came back to us. We're not summoning the other two back, and Gunning, we said, was available. Very excited to have him. And let's see if there's anyone else. I mean, they're low, but they're just not, they're not leaving. Like, we tried. We already got a, you know, civil war that already happened. Just, I don't know what I can do for the remaining guys. Like, I can drop John Faye to 28. I don't like the defense that is being thrown out at us. Get rid of that first. And then we can discredit a couple more. Wei Yan can drop to 10. And that's the only couple generals that we're interested in. So, not gonna touch anyone else. I don't think we need to do anything else here. The only thing it is that we need to worry about is them bringing back discredit faction to our faction. So, perhaps we do something like try to become administrators and then maybe, you know throw some sort of revolt to take the land as well. That would be a great option for us. All right. All right, who else leveled up? Uh, just a Simon character. Yeah, definitely the big thing about Radius is that, you know, there is no weight to any of the decisions because you end up getting all the skills anyway, so there's no trade-off, you know? And it does feel like you do pick up experience a lot faster. So I feel like I'm gonna need an army to hold them off over here as well. Okay, we're not at war with them, we peaced out because, you know, we got caught in a bad situation. And another thing with Radius is just money doesn't feel important because you have so much money that you don't need more money. Uh, we didn't get more food, unfortunately, this turn. We'll be able to pick up some right here and then probably going to be able to buy these um, through trade. Does he have... He does have patience and he's level 5. Not the highest, but... We'll see what we can do here. Let's isolate him. So decisive victory. I think we can just delegate this one. Well, I'm not so sure. Yeah, let's fight it just to keep it healthy. So we got to fight the other battles too. Okay, it's a bit slanted. Not a fan of that. They have almost no range so I can literally start out like right in front of them facing me though because I gotta ride forward to kite and we'll just bring them back to us now this army is not exactly high level it's a bit green they haven't had a chance to really fight anything but we do have some interesting units like these uh Yellow Axes, which is like the game's take, the, the Radius mod take on a miniature yellow dragon. They look like 
they, they look just like yellow dragons though i think maybe there's some minor changes to them but that's pretty much what yellow dragons look like anyhow generals can sit in the back Dump some arrows on them. And we'll move forward so we don't get shot. And the siege weapons are going. No flaming shot. Unfortunate. I like this group. At least they're running. I have no idea what everyone else is doing. Oh, they're starting to fire stuff at us. Move a little faster. No, 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 this way. It's also a night battle, so the morale is really not going to hold up. Poor guy. See, why are they not routing though? We barely have any men left. Yeah, everyone died before they even routed. At least he's wavering there. There we go. That's more realistic. Oh, here it comes. They arrive at the fire zone. And the repeating crossbowmen too. Which is going to be insane. Alright, our cavalry is right behind their cavalry and we're shooting them down. From behind where their shields would not apply. And as we herd them to their doom. Armor one? I guess we don't. Alright. That's it. Nice and easy. Right, I think we kept that one really clean. I think there were zero casualties. Unless we friendly fired. Nope. Zero casualties. That's as clean as you can ask for. Got an item drop. Shamuko is coming with us. Perceptive is useful. The traits are not bad. The units are super average. We're gonna execute so they spawn better generals. Almost had us there. Same thing. Finally have flaming shots as well, and we'll be taking the city. 
Ooh, why did we delegate so poorly? Huh. I mean, still. I would like to wipe him out too, so I guess we'll just fight this. Alrighty. This shouldn't be difficult. Reinforcements coming from that side, so I might go to the opposite side. Which would be here, I guess? It's nice that we picked up Flaming Shot just for this. Just in time. Oh, they're coming out. Uh, we're not ready for that. I was pretty convinced they were not going to come out. Anyways. Pound the gates while we can. And we might just have to abandon the machines. Maybe I can pull them back, but I don't think it's worth it. Just get a couple shots off, and then we're gonna just... We're just gonna pull them. Ah, once we take the siege weapon off, good. They pull back. It's We've seen this before. The AI basically respond to the fact that you have a siege weapon range on them, and thus charge you. And once they don't feel it, they pull it away. But then we get it back. Oops. Come on, hit them here. It's such a good place. Launch it? No? There we go. Such a good place. still move back if I start pulling them. No, this time they're committed. Oh good. You. Straight into the enemy range. Oh no, running so slowly. Make sure we can get this turn around. Yeah, it looks fine. The suppression works on them. And the fire is about to go soon too. So we're gonna write these guys across. Two each. We're gonna pull them back and then charge them over. There goes their cavalry. 
Oh, they're range. No spear units here. Just that guy right there. Alright, we're not gonna really touch that guy. Can't pull out. Ah, uh, just a few of them still engaged. It's okay. We just issue the charge command. Alright, he's about to route two, which would end this. Right? Alright. Done with them. I mean, we probably should chase them if we don't want to face them again outside, but I think it's fine. Relatively clean. I think we lost like maybe five guys and then some friendly fire. Oh, they killed five here. Ah, they got a few here as well. Alright, so he's still on the map. Jiang Yang's a nice place. Don't need that here. Just gonna convert. City build. Okay. Um, yeah, they have the right versions. We go with State Workshop. Rush it. Private workshop. Don't think we can go tall yet, though. Because we got so many range units. Oh, I wonder if he can pass the poison over because he's a Han general. That would be nice if that could work. Uh, we do have a few assignments. Decent amount of commerce, but most likely surplus market. Yeah, that's pretty much all we need to do there. Dane to go save the rebels. Trying to get there as fast as we can. Yeah, everything's all built except for not going all tall yet. That's correct. Um, we should probably summon more armies just because we can and also eventually we'll be fighting them and it's likely we need to send an army over here to fight them. Let's summon one here. Let's put our uniques to work. We have a lot of Nunman roster. Dombai is burnt, but she's not willing to work with us here. Right, but she's on assignment. The question is, should she be on assignment? Probably no, not if you're a burn officer, and not if you are unique. We want them out on the field. Gong Sun Xu. Not impressed with Gong Sun Xu. Yong Bai is a burn officer too. Lack of purpose. Recent event. Yeah, we just picked up another minus 15. Which is a bit unfortunate. Um, love your stuff. I think he's on cooldown until next turn because we just caught him. And but he doesn't want to work with Jashu. Dongbai seems to be oh He Shou Tian. 
Nice, we're an officer. If we pick up Lü Bu and them during the end turn, a lot of these people would just leave us. That's a big problem. We would like have to give them something. Super concerning. It's really a lousy way to change the spy values where they carry it over. So the work that you did to get them to leave will actually undo your faction. Alright, I don't think there's any more Burin generals just hanging out here for us to grab. Yang, Yang Feng, Changxia. Changxia might be Burin. Yeah, he's administrator. He doesn't like Jiaxu. Mm, Jiaxu's also not Burin, so it's not like... But, but, you know, he's unique, so we gotta use him. Hmm. Chen Chao. Nope. Alright, who has interesting units, maybe? Maybe an elephant in this army? But this would be a range-heavy army. So I don't think the elephant makes a lot of sense. Maybe we just ignore the personalities and get the Baron officers here and try a different type of special army with double burnt. They can run. Ooh, that's that's the question. They can't run repeating crossbowmen, which is what I wanted to run here. Only strategists can run that. So we might end up switching these two actually. Eh. It's nice, but not really that nice. You know what, I don't want to waste the bandit units though. Maybe I'll use them. We're gonna go two tribuches just so that we can siege stuff. And then we're gonna plan to run full armies of heavy repeating crossbowmen and see how that works. Uh, you already have a title. This is rough. 20, 20 satisfaction. That should help a little. No, not really. Uh. Here, pick up 10 points. Anyone else complaining? Sort of. Ah, yeah, already got you. All right, best we can do. Let's continue. Okay, they're back at war. Don't know where... Oh, in the north. Okay. Gongdu also got destroyed. Alright, he's here. We have good capture chance here, so... Looking forward to that fight. Let me pick up yet another chest. Liu Biao. No, we'll pass. That will help. That will help a lot. There we go. Alright, we should unlock something for buildings. Ooh, 15 points of satisfaction for all. Okay, done deal. 
Also spring. What can we do? Rebellion? No, I like to fight Hun faction. I like to fight Naman faction. I don't need a... Oh, but last time we did it, it was... Oh, but this is not in Naman territory, so it's not. It's going to be a Han rebel. I don't want a Han rebel. Uh, not the guy I'm looking for. And also, reset's kind of pointless now, because eventually we'll get everything. Guess we'll take that. Not getting myself married, although I could spawn the random... Right, who needs money? Let's see what interesting wife the game gives me. Luigi. Alright, so we did pick up a semi-unique, I guess. Um, basically, they're waiting to spawn into the game, and you can pick up people like them, Da Chiao, Xiao Chiao, through all these potential uh, possible pickups. If we divorce her, I think she'll be fine. She wouldn't hate us that much. Yeah, she's still fine. She is great. The 15% replenishment is excellent. Alright, I probably want to siege them. We'll consider that very soon. I cannot reach that. I assume there might be an army here too. No, surprisingly, they don't have one. The rule. Good, and then we want another strategist, but who, right? Who should get the honors? Fu Gui, who we had a chance to re-roll his tree. Is he worth our time? Eh, not really. Zhao Min is our administrator. Most of them are on assignments. I mean, we could add Chamo Ke in there, we just can't recruit the units we want to recruit. Oh, Mami D. Being semi unique, maybe. Qi? Ah, Qi Axeman. Vain. It's not great. More expensive for the retinue. But money is really not, a, not an issue between the factions. See if we have something interesting. I don't know if he's willing to spy for if I need to see some willing to spy. There we go. Okay, so he's not a spy himself. That's really all we need to make sure. Or we can patiently wait for one more. Or we can actually run some frontline because this is kind of crazy that we're running no frontline units whatsoever. Alright, Liu Zhang, you know the area. We'll use you. And he has Flaming Shot, he doesn't, which gives me a good reason to first fire him. You're happy now. Alright, you're good. Give you a good one. Yeah, those are fine items. Swap over. I feel like we should probably run two of these now that we have him. Double sword guard. No, I think we'll pass on that. A few cavalry should work for us. Uh, refugee or Northern Saber Cav. I think Namiya. Yeah, I think Namiya Riders. Just because that's sort of our specialty. Alright. He has flexibility? Nope, not yet. He has reach. He has reach, so it's fine. We'll keep the reach in the front. Alright, they all moved. He's still an issue, but I think it's an issue that we can just take care of with the garrison. Two, three counties, and then this county right here. They will advance on that shortly. Alright, that's the battle we gotta think about. Hmm, can't reach them yet. That's the army that almost got us. All right, we're going to ambush in both of those places. 23 food. It seems like we should be 
upgrading. That one's six building slot. This one's six building slot. You're next. There goes 10 food. And we can go level five now. And then labor, just because it provides base income. And the one we would want would be this one. Seven food, and we'll go land development to get a little bit of income and also some extra food. Keep things balanced. Back to 13. Visit our spy situation. But not getting appointed anywhere interesting. It's not really anyone we want. And looking at the faction, there's still a lot of recent event that we gotta wait out before we can get them back. You, on the other hand. Actually, maybe we. Maybe we summon one back. I think we can swallow minus 15. That way we open up one slot, just take a look at potential turn codes from Liu Bei. And hopefully there are some potential ones. I'll try my best to not use it on them. The way ends at zero again, but I don't think he's leaving. Last time when we did it, he didn't leave. And even if you leave, I doubt he comes to us. Alright, I want to create more armies, actually. Let's do it here. I want Shamwakla to come out. Uh, we're out of deployment, so I guess we'll stay here. You unfortunately don't have any good units whatsoever. I'm going to just get rid of it for now. Depending on who he partners with, we'll decide what army he will have. Who leveled up? From just me pulling generals onto the... Oh, I guess for rushing buildings. Right. And assignments. Ugh, we just don't have good ones. Um... Increase experience. No, we don't. She, her level is low, though, but she doesn't have good ones to use. I guess the food ones might be great. Oh, he has a farmer background. Oh, we could do this. Right. That will help the potential satisfaction issue for getting our spies back. Of course he would want peace. Alright, we're good. Let's continue. Except I forgot I had the command on. So we didn't actually end turn. The army marched because it was resolving a situation. So if I just continue siege, it will end turn. This is weird. This is a weird interaction. Um, we will invite Liu into our coalition. Yeah, sure. They will say no. I'll, I'll side with Liu Bei here. Alright, not surprisingly, they decided to charge out at us. He even has Zhuge Jin working for him. Zhuge Liang's brother. I could retreat, technically. I don't have to face this group. But eventually we will, so I think we might as well. We can't capture him, but we can try to get a fondness on him. <laughs> he stole Shamwoka's bow. Okay, let's go. Alright, the nice thing here is he has to attack me, and I can just play defense, and there's rivers around me too. A little bit more shrubbery than I like, but I think we'll be fine. I don't think we'll be setting ourselves on fire anytime soon. They do have one elephant, which is probably the only unit we have to concern ourselves with here. Ah, 
Ah, I should have placed it a little bit more forward, but it's fine. We could have burned that force. They're grouping with their reinforcement. We're on defense. We got all day. They can take their time, walk towards us. Um, do we want to move up a little bit just so we can get a, more of that force? Oh, that's the extent of this that we can really do here. Just realize I'm not going to have vision of them until they get out of the forest anyways. Anyways, it's okay. Like, I'm not going to see them. We're too far away. He's pretty fast. Go scout. Ah, there we go. He has a Nanzhong elephant from Menghua. Because it's, it's playing the drum. It's the mobile MP3 player. Alright, we're gonna start lighting it up. Because, you know, we got, like, what, 39 shots? It's a nice dry spring day. Should catch fire pretty easily. He's still invisible and quite fast. Don't expect a problem there. Oh, elephants near here. They might find him. Might. I'm not gonna move though. Ah, they found him. Oh, I found you guys. Elephants right there. We bring down a few of them. Ah, we got one. Alright, they have to cross the river into us. Ah, oh, he stopped. Okay. I have to pick off some of these quote unquote captain units, elite units. There's a couple of range unit right here that I'm interested in killing. Is that a fire arrow? No, that's not a fire. Not a fire arrow. Archer. 13 of them. I'm not charging them. That would be foolish. I might pick off a couple of these guys in the back. Alright, repeating crossbowmen is going to work. Now let them do their own thing. We have really solid flanks, so I'm not too concerned. Making sure the elephant doesn't get a clean contact with us might be key. Alright, we're gonna start pulling out to the flanks farther. Make sure we pelt him so that he loses all his charge. We need one good volley. Come on, one good volley. Do it. No, he's not firing. What's he doing? No, no, that is not the command. What are you... Can you get a good volley here? No, he can't. Must be an elevation thing. Oh, no. Anyways, time to solve this flanking issue. Oh, 
加工敌军。啊、uh, ，cavalry is still so satisfying. Forgot about him. He got shredded. 对，杀光敌军。It's over. We probably want to chase, given that there's still going to be a follow-up siege battle here. But we'll be fine in that one. Yeah, our front line held really well. They actually barely took any damage. The range got, you know, killed during the trade fire. Yeah, you can come over here with us. You have the elephant, or oh, uh, Wu Tu Gu had the elephant. You don't have the elephant, right? Then you can die. Release and pick up overseer. Not bad. Replenishment. Yeah, it's not like we're looking for any sort of deals in terms of peace deal with them. Crafted an armor. Uh, we probably just get this over with. I can trade some of the chests for land if I want to do that. Only six percent. Well, I guess that's for a close victory. He did summon a new one. Don't know anything about him. How is this delegate value even real here? Anyways, alrighty. Very typical siege. I think this side might be easy. Oh no, this side is definitely easiest. Yeah. They have like 400 men inside. They, there's no way they can do anything here. Not even raining for them. Oh, actually didn't catch on fire. There we go. We're at level ten, right? What's wrong with you guys? Ah, 敌军少楼已被摧毁。Break the door too. Can't break this side though, but that's fine. All right, fire will. We have more range than slingers. Extremely accurate. Why are they not dead though? We're not routing yet. The 
军仓皇逃窜，一群懦夫。Can't wait for that repeating crossbow my army to get out there because it looks deadly here. I guess just not gonna come to the gate. I don't think that's possible. They have to come. Did those arrows trail them over here? How does that work? It, it's like homing. Like these guys, I don't understand how their accuracy works, but it really looks like it's homing. The accuracy is insane. Does it fire beyond the range? It does. Look at that. That that's wrong. Either the indicator is wrong, or there's something wrong when they change the range. And yeah, we're inside. We're gonna do about it. What is this? Like, sure, we can't initially target them, but as they run out, it, it homes in on them and extends the range, apparently. He's dead. Poor elephants. That's it, right? How are you not routed? Wait, what are they called? Sharp wood? A oh, shard wood. I was like, sharp wood spearmen? I mean, it's not like shard wood is any better. Alrighty. Now, execute. Uh, huh. I think this one can be utility for once. We actually haven't built any utility commanderies yet, but with the food, a little bit of industry just doesn't warrant going all in here. Matter of fact, why don't you just give us a lot of food? Oh, the trade-off is less good. Wait, wait, wait. What's the uh, fully upgraded version? 100, 100, 160, 50. Ah, they skew the values. Why, why did they do that? Large city. Yeah, this one doesn't require any upgrades. So I guess we'll settle for this side. Depends on, we don't have the reform anyways. Yeah, 70 and 80 is not that big of a difference. And if we were going to do any sort of farming, this would be the place. And that should supply us with enough food to... Ooh. Can we buy that from you? Yes, we can. I have no idea what exactly is 15, but oh, oh actually we only we only need 13.1, right? 57k, which is around what we make in the turn. I'm sure she has a ton of cash too. Not even gonna matter. All right, and then we're going to pick up the rest of these. Can I buy this from you as well? How much for this? Ah, so same price, right? Thank you. What, what about that uh, gate pass? A little bit pricier. Let me introduce you to these chests. They're wonderful things. Um, here's a public water one for you, and uh, the, your, your units will love these. 
and then we will give you can't give you any food for some reason oh because we've already been doing that that makes a lot of sense they like military access I don't mind it and we can pay them maybe closer to 40k close that is a little bit too much All right, we bought all of these and we'll upgrade all of them as well because why not? And then we'll take the rest of these land from him. That would be a simple delegate. There is an army hovering over us. Hold on. Then we gotta we gotta fight this one. There's one right there. He is not capable of moving that way because of the rivers. So that's a free take. Max level? Yep, level 3. We'll just have to fight that one manually. Um, this is... Our... We're not trespassing, right? Yes, we are. Do, do we... Did we release them? Yes, we did. Uh, a bit annoyed. I, I could take the river route, I guess. No, no, no. Go, go through the river. This shouldn't take long. Alrighty, it's not raining, so it should be pretty quick. Our siege weapons level is not that high, but I still think we shouldn't have issue given how much ammo Radius mod provides. Alright, that's ready burning. All I took was one volley. Let's go here. That one's burning. This one might be a little bit trickier. And I believe there will be an overlap, but not that bad. Yeah, that one missed. So I can just break those walls. Oh, still missing those. There we go. All you need is one hit, and it's going to burn. We'll get rid of the inside ones, because we might actually charge up some units. And then we'll crack these walls right here. That's going to do it. Time to break the walls. Next. Do they have range units? One guy right here. And I know I outranged them with all these guys. Still no poison arrow. So unless that title is just broken by itself or Radius mod might have broke it. Because I vaguely remember using it before, and I believe it worked. I'm trying to punish this group right here. We got that hole. Now everyone aim into that hole. No, shoot these guys first. They're shooting at you. How do they bounce back? <laughs> they're, they're dead. They're, they're, okay. They have a couple of range right here. We focus them down. They're dead. They're routing really weird, but we can just charge because we're cavalry. Mm, 
they're not actually doing that hot. Come back out. What are they doing? We'll let the machine guns finish the rest of the job here. Yeah, that accuracy is insane. The homing effect on these guys. Who's next? It's basically, uh, it's not the title doesn't work. It's these unit can't get poison arrows. That's the problem. That's my guess. Who's next? I got 38 ammo. <laughs> I got so much ammo left. This is one, this is one shot, two shots. All right, easy stuff. All righty. Yeah, nothing I want. Let's see how they built this. This is definitely gonna just be a food place for us. Even this, I'm going to go down the food route instead. I'm out of money. Wow. What a shocker. <laughs> We're making 53k. A 53k a turn though, so there's absolutely no pressure. Oh, we also have a group of rebels we didn't kill. Did it? How are they doing? Did they get stronger? He had a spy master. He picked up someone. No, no gold item though. Bit unfortunate. Still just a simple delegate would do here. If they are not killed, I will leave them on the field. I'll be happy to have them spawn a third. I'm gonna kill you, so you might spawn someone else with a good item. Yeah, leave them alone. Ah, just waiting for you to level. I don't know if level four is enough though. We're focused on Boosting the range. Can no 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 can you recruit oh we don't have money, but can you recruit the cavalry now? Northern mounted raiders. That's the one. Alright, next turn we'll flood them with that and it'll be all good. Sure see it reached level 10. What do you know? What turn is this? 55? They definitely boost the experience gain. Ribu has returned to us with a shaman. What happened to... What? Oh, records mode, right. That's what it looks like in records mode. That is correct. Give him Blood Dragon, give him Art of War, and he should be okay. That means we should have an open spy slot to see if Zhang Fei and the likes are interested. Wei Yan finally coming over. Thank you. And Zhang Fei is a 28. I can drop him to zero. I have not used one on Wei Yan yet. I'm not going to use one on Wei Yan. I'm going to use that on anyone else. And Zhang Fei is at zero. I think you can come back now. Uh, there's still quite a bit of recent events, so he's got to wait it out. Gai Ning can maybe come back. Wei Yan can do the rest, right? Assuming... Well, Gai Ning is at zero, he will come back automatically. Oh, what? Well, they're all at zero. Ah, uh, well, I can't see it. There's no way I can see extra slot right now. Unless we somehow rank up. No, so far away with the 600 limit. Yeah, we're just gonna, fingers crossed, and see if Jonfei is available next turn. Got to look for your friends, but we spent a lot of the money, so I don't know if I have... 
what's left for you. Sha Mo Ke. Maybe you can work with Lu Bu here. Oh, Lu Bu and his daughter can reunite. Did I miss him? Oh, there he is. Doesn't like to work with him. Not surprised. But anyhow, uh, let us continue. Liu Bei is asking us to invite Zheng Zhao. I'm okay with you, Liu Bei. Anything you say. Alrighty, Wei Yan's coming back. I don't know if he's back. Yuan Shu got destroyed. Huang Zhu got destroyed. Anyone coming to me? No. Anyone potentially coming to me on this screen? Maybe like on cooldown? I can check them here. Also, no. Is Zhang Fei still there? <gasps> Zhang Fei ditched. Zhang Fei ditched. But he didn't come to us. That's the thing. Okay. I mean, it's a okay outcome. That means you can come back too, because there's no one that's unique left with Liu Bei's faction. And uh, we can probably end the episode here. Um, we bought all the land from Sun Tzu, uh, Sun, uh, Lady Wu's faction. It's not even Sun Tzu's faction or Sun Jian's faction. They're both dead. Um, the rest of the campaign just doesn't look very challenging. We have this huge coalition partnership over here as well. Um, it just, it's been delayed because we just can't reach King. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't know why it's 600. And uh, the Emperor's still hanging out with Dong Zhuo. Dong Zhuo's not dead. Uh, Huang Fuzong's surprisingly not dead. And I don't know what Lady Wu's going to do diplomatically because I think, like, she has to kind of expand into our allies' land. And we don't have any dip. Oh, yeah, because I guess we don't. She likes us. Everyone likes us, except for the North, but yeah, everyone, they even love us for releasing so many people. Uh, we'll come back and we'll try to do a little bit more. I want to see the repeating crossbow army, and then maybe I'll just do a little review of the Radius mod, and we'll just call this one, because I feel like we've seen pretty much everything there is to see, and the battles are not difficult. Um, you know, there's a lot of battle because there's just a lot of armies on the field, Sure, they're going to recruit better units, but even then, you know, good units can't really stand up to Juggernauts, can't really stand up to repeating crossbowmen. Those things are like homing machine guns. Like, I'm going to showcase these guys one time, and we're going to realize how strong they are. I think there's like five volleys per ammo, so multiply the damage figure by five. Talking about like 80 armor piercing damage hitting you per shot, and I think it's just nuts. And these guys, uh, we've proven our point with Juggernauts. These guys are nuts to begin with. And uh, yeah, we can feel that many armies too. Economy is not a problem. And uh, we'll wipe out Wutugu. And uh, probably call it at that point. We could also sneak them in a little closer so we can wipe out the rest at the same time. But I also kind of want to keep that option open in case we can recruit people like Meng Huo, Zhu Rong, and Wutugu himself in the future. Uh, if there is a future, of course. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and see you all next time. Bye.